Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Brianna. Subscribe down below for weekly uploads, more like daily this week because I have nothing to do. I am stuck at home because I'm a substitute teacher and my school is closed right now. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my Netflix show recommendations. Let's just hop straight into it. Okay, the one that I'm watching now that I am so hooked on is Wentworth. So it's kind of like an Australian version of Orange is the New Black. It's about these girls in prison, drama, fights, a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's so good and I love their accents. So Wentworth is amazing. I think there are at least maybe six or seven seasons on Netflix and each episode is at least 45 minutes long. So there is tons of binging to do. Right now I just started season three. So let's see how long it takes me to finish the entire series. Okay, next up is On My Block, season three just dropped. This is kind of like a teenage type drama series. Um, they live in a not so nice part of California. There's gangs, there's drugs, there's just a whole bunch of that going on. Some people hate this show, but I actually really love it. And the new season just dropped. So three seasons of On My Block. Okay, next up is Lucifer. So I fell off of this show, but it is so addicting. So Lucifer Morningstar is the devil and he ends up in on earth. What city are they in? I think they're in New York or somewhere. So he is the actual devil and he turns into kind of like a detective type situation. This show is so funny guys and like it sounds kind of dumb, but check out Lucifer. It's pretty funny. Okay, sex education. So this show definitely has some awkward moments, but it's super funny. So it's about like a British um, school where this guy, his mom is like a sex therapist, I think she is, is her title. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on with basically like coming, it's kind of like a coming of age type of series and teenage exploration and all that. So sex education is super funny. I believe there are two seasons on Netflix. One of them just recently dropped. Ozark. Ozark is kind of like a drug type of drama. I don't know how else, how else to explain it. Season 3 drops soon. I think it's March 27th. So Ozark is a super great show about a family who is struggling to make ends meet and ends up getting involved in the drug industry. Riverdale. Guys, Riverdale is so good. I don't care what anyone says. Another teenage high school drama coming of age story. Riverdale is so good. Towards the end of the latest season, it gets a little bit weird and stuff like that, but it's definitely a great show if you're into that type of genre. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl is on Netflix. I watched this show so long ago, but I probably will sit down and rewatch this entire series at some point. Gossip Girl is so good. Also, okay, next recommendation is You. If you don't know what You is, it's about Dan from Gossip Girl is a crazy stalker boyfriend. So Gossip Girl and You, Dan, what is his real name? Badgley? I don't know his real name is, but he's a great actor. So Gossip Girl in you. Okay, Mindhunter, if you're into that true crime type stuff, Mindhunter is so good. And it's basically about in the 60s and 70s how the FBI started exploring, psychologically looking into why people commit murders, crimes, why they do what they do. And they talk about some mass serial killers. Oh. Sorry, they talk about some pretty popular mass serial killers, so that is super, super interesting. Black Mirror, um, if you haven't seen Black Mirror, it's basically just a whole bunch of weird stuff happens because of technology. And we're in 2020 and there definitely is some weird stuff happening. So Black Mirror is super, it gets you thinking about what could happen and kind of puts into perspective how much we rely on technology and the negative sides of that. Jane the Virgin, I love this show. It's kind of supposed to be like an American version of a telenovela. They speak Spanish with subtitles and also English. It's the cutest story about a Venezuelan family and a whole bunch of drama. Um, obviously, Jane the Virgin, she's a virgin and has a baby. I'm not going to spoil exactly how that happens, but it's such a cute show. Okay, Unbelievable is a series based on true events. So I had actually read an entire um, article about this situation and then I found out they made a Netflix series. It's about, let me not spoil anything, but it's about a case of rape that basically is just, there's a lot that goes on. So you have to watch it. I don't want to really say 
everything that happens because that will obviously spoil it for you guys but it's called unbelievable and it will just really get you thinking about the criminal justice system and everything that goes into that okay next up is sabrina and not the old school sabrina with the cute little teenage witch this show is kind of dark and more of like a thriller um, this is the chilling adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. They kind of jump into some weird stuff like the devil, paganism, and a little bit of like witchcraft and all that stuff. But this show is still good nonetheless. But if you're not into that type of stuff, I definitely would not watch it. Okay, The Vampire Diaries, um, enough said. This is the twilight of TV shows, I guess you could say. And then a spinoff of that show is the original. So, vampires. If you like vampires, kind of another like teenage high school drama. This show is so good and there are so many seasons of these two shows. Santa Clarita Diet has Drew Barrymore in it. It's kind of like a funny um, comedy type drama show about a mom who turns into a zombie. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it's about. It's so funny and I love Drew Barrymore in this role. Okay, so the last um, of my Netflix recommendations of TV shows is The Haunting of Hill House. This is kind of a thriller, suspense, horror type thing. Basically about a family, a whole bunch of family drama, death, haunting, ghost, all that stuff. So if you're into that type of stuff and you maybe want to have a spooky TV show marathon, this show is so good. So those are all of my Netflix recommendations. If you guys have any shows that you are binging right now or ones that are about to premiere, comment them down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed. I have been posting weekly, I'm sorry, daily uploads this week and probably for the next couple of weeks. Um, don't quote me on that, but I will at least be posting a couple of videos every single week. Guys, please stay safe, stay clean, stay inside your house as much as possible. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.